Hey guys, this is Scott, Construction Technology Partners. Uh, Going to do a quick video today here showing you how to make a new slope in GCS 900. Had a couple guys asking about this, so figured we'd do a quick video. This is the version 12.7 emulator. So if you're newer version or older version, you may see some, you know, a little bit different button layout or so on and so forth. But the process itself is going to be pretty much the same. So we're in here, machines connected. This is a training site that we're set up on. We want to make a new slope in here. So if we go to menu, up here at top you see select design. We're going to select that. And here we have these new op these options, new level, new slope, new map. If we do new slope, we've got two options here. It says select desired coordinate system. We can use last, which is going to be the, the calibration from the site that we're previously on. In this instance, is the training site. So if you're on a site, you want to match up elevations and, and coordinates, you need to be using the last. If you're out on a site and if you do just do like a new base here or something like that, you can do auto create unload. We're going to use the training site. So once we use the, once we select that, the next screen we're going to see is, is we're going to set as 0.1. You can see over here we got 0 0.1, 0 0.2 cross slope blade left here method so on method we got point and direction and two points I'd recommend using two points point and direction we're gonna have to select a, a bearing or you know a heading for the machine and just a kind of a difficult process to do most guys are doing two points you can shoot it with your rover if you don't know how to build it in there you can just enter points or you can go track with your dozer or excavator whatever you're using to those actual points is which is what a lot of guys are doing if they're doing in field so two points our first point uh, so I'm on point one you can see the top and then I'm using my left blade tip I can go between left and right once I hit here it's gonna give me a location so then I would track my machine over to my point two um, I take another we'll just use the right tip that'll give us at least a different position so now we have two different locations for our gear shots. What this is going to do is basically going to draw up a line in between the two. That's going to be a 3D line. It's going to have elevation to it. Um, what's cool here is if you want to do a V ditch, you have the option. You could do a cross slope. You could put, we're going to put a 33, we'll do flat on this side. And we're going to swap this. So it's running up. So, um, so if level is obviously zero, but so the left of our line, we're going to be a three to one to the right. It's going to be flat. So once we hit OK, now we want to name it. It's using the up and down arrows, you call it test one or whatever, whatever you know when you come back to it, because it is tied to uh, coordinates based off your job. So now that I've got my design selected, I have a line here and it drew that line all the directions forever and then if you go and switch to your profile we can see here we've got our three to one running up to the left so if that was to be backwards or not the way you intended it to be for whatever reason if we just go into back into our design we can actually just go to edit and we can come in here and we can change this we want it to be the other way now it's going to load the design now we go back in. Now we got our slope running the other way. So the nice thing is, is as long as you name that design and you get the coordinate shot that you actually wanted, you can go back in, modify elevations, slopes, so on and so forth. Um, then that's gonna it will not lay on top of the existing line work for our current project, but you know it is gonna give you reference based off of our elevations in the test project which you can see here just some made up numbers for the purpose of the emulator um, from there you can offset vertically and horizontally which is if you're trying to do a flat bottom ditch you can do some horizontal offsets um, but that's the basics of creating a new slope if you want to switch back to your original design switch back to I think it was training site And we're back on site. Simple as that.